This is Police Interceptors. Future Crime. Bad egg, isn't he? The criminal world is evolving fast. But the Interceptors are striking back. 12 tenths in this bit. With mind-blowing tech. In this special episode, we'll be getting a glimpse into the future of crime fighting. With the teams from Cumbria. And Durham and Cleveland. We'll also be heading out on patrol with Cheshire's interceptors. Wow. To see tech in action on the front line. With mashed motorists. Turn off, Unbelievable drug farms. Yeah, this is a professional setup. And gut wrenching pursuits. Move on, move on. This is Police Interceptors Future Crime. Just amazing. few years, the UK police have focused on putting more technology into the hands of its officers. The reason? To help tackle some of the biggest challenges facing the force. Whether it's identifying slippery suspects, tracking dangerous fugitives, or cutting down on paperwork. Which is boring. Yeah. Technology has the power to revolutionise policing. Cheshire Police are one of the forces leading the way with this fresh wave of tech. Their brand new tablet is a key weapon in the fight against crime. With instant access to ANPR cameras and the police national computer, interceptors can now track and ID crooks faster than ever before. To see it in action, I've come out on patrol with Cheshire Interceptor Ian Blanchard. A tactical pursuit advisor with over a decade of criminal hunting know-how. Approaching 6 p.m., a job comes in. <laughs> Go on, I'll follow you then. Interceptor Keith Parsons has just called in with some disturbing intel. So what's uh, what's Keith picked up? Uh, he's just got an NPR hit, boy focus, it's a guy who's wanted for rape. The car is connected to a man suspected of sexual assault, and it's just pinged up on an ANPR camera heading down the motorway. Police have been after the car for two days, and Intel suggests it could be heading back up the motorway any time within the next 90 minutes. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait for the vehicle to pass by us and then do a tactical stop, so uh, a team pack. Two miles from the stakeout point, we can't afford to waste any time. Just going to pull out straight up, put yeah. But traffic's getting in our way. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> I like that focus with the uh, male wanted for rape is coming this way. Right, is he likely to be behind us or...? Possibly. Behind? Well, keep going ahead. We're yeah. going to set up here just in case. So hopefully he um, could be behind us somewhere. Parked up on the hard shoulder, the new tech comes into its own. ANPR cameras along the motorway and built into Blanchy's car pick up the reg numbers of every passing motor streaming the data directly to his tablet. So that should give us, as soon as it hits that, yeah. it should automatically ping up on there within a second. Scanning all three lanes. Yeah, all three lanes. So when the focus goes past, the reg will show up on the tablet and we'll be after it. What's that one there? There it is. That's the one. It's in lane three. The car has just sped past us down the outside lane, but Blanchy's steaming up behind. Tango 6 4, that uh, focus is in lane 3, approaching 6. Have you just been in time? I have, I'm directly behind it. We've got any other patrols at all, please, so we can uh, try and put a preemptive on it. What's the plan of action now then? Uh, we're going to try and get five cars. Yeah, uh, we're going to see how many we can get from Merseyside now yeah, to assist us with a stop. I'm going to try and get a preemptive box on this now. We're going for a tea pack. Keith's a mile ahead on the hard shoulder, with more interceptors gathered further up along a slipway. 
Five, four, I'm just ahead at the turn off. Blanchy takes command. Yeah, come out now, Pete. Um, just approaching you. Passing you now. Keith pulls out and latches onto our tail. Blanchy relays his plan to control. Yeah, turn to do a three car box if possible. I think we've possibly got four if we use the uh, rear car for safety. The other interceptors have now slipped in behind us, but Blanchy knows the plan could be foiled if the suspect makes a run for it. Up ahead, the focus looks to be considering a move. I think he's uh, coming up here. No, he isn't. He's slowing down. I think he might be thinking about it. If this bloke was planning on doing a runner, he seems to have changed his mind. But Blanchy can't take any more chances. All the cars are ready, they must act now. A van ahead is blocking the right hand lane. Come on, transit, get out the road. It clears. Yeah, there he is, yeah. Blanchy gives the signal. Move up, move up. Keith pulls in fast around the front. Another car blocks in the side, and we close up the rear. Keith is first to the driver. He doesn't want to risk the bloke making a run for it. Turn off, mate. Good job. Got any further that somebody wanted on board this car, so we're going to check the details, mate. If it's not you, are we good to go? Jump out. We don't know for sure if the driver's our suspect, so Keith checks his identity matches the intel. What's the last name he's wanted? Suspicion of rape. The driver's ID checks out. He is the man we're after. But I'm still trying to take it all in. Watching that all take place was just amazing. Makes me wonder what was going through the suspect's mind as he was driving without a care in the world and then, oh, this is strange. I've got one, no, I've got two police cars on my tail. Okay, they're not flashing, they're not doing anything. Let me change lanes. Change lanes. Oh, these squad cars are changing lanes with me. Now there's another one. Now there's three, there's four. There he goes. That's it. All in all, it's been a textbook operation. Good result. Uh, stop. Nobody injured. Nobody, uh, nothing damaged. All got the one in custody that we wanted. So, good day. The driver's also been given a drug wipe and the results are in. So the suspect has tested positive for both cannabis and cocaine. So he's going to get taken to the nearest um, police station and process there. He's going to have his bloods taken so that he can determine exactly how much cocaine and cannabis is in his system. The test revealed that the driver had taken cannabis and cocaine. So, thanks to old tech in the shape of some heavy duty police motors and new tech, that's Blanche's tablet, the man is being investigated for drug driving and has been charged with two counts of sexual assault. He awaits his day in court. Coming up on Police Interceptor's Future Crime, a dodgy driver gives Don the runaround. Right, Chase, it's on, kids. A drug device spills the beans on a doped up motorist. You're under arrest, mate, for possession of cannabis and drug driving. And Otis goes on the run from tech and teeth.